This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are ya? This is Alex. You see, it says the Ramble. That's me and the Ramble. And we go until midnight tonight, and here we are. Hello, all of you. How are you? Good to see you. I'm looking, see, I'm looking over at my picture over there, and I should be looking directly at you, okay? Uh, let me see here. I gotta get somebody ready here. There we go. I'll let that let that uh, bubble a little bit here and uh, let me see oh he's he's not even there yet as I as I live and breathe where where is he what happened to him he's just he's just well, well I'll show you folks uh, he's just not there. Uh, there, there there oh there he is there he is uh, you got to turn the <laughs> can't hear you there we go uh, let me see here Okay, all right. I'm here. You there? Are, are you there? Yeah, can yeah. You, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure you could hear me. You, you know, know uh, I thought I had more time to pee. <laughs> but... Uh, At our age, you need a lot of time to pee. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it's often... Hey, you know... Well, I've been I'm, having this pain when I urinate lately. Yeah? Yeah, and I think that's from the, all the work they did on me a couple of years ago. It's kind of coming back I'm, to... I'm, sh I'm sure it is. Yeah. But I, 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 I got a trip offer here from the Commonwealth Club. Mm hmm Ukraine on two, borscht, uh, two bowls of borscht a day. And you get a book by Rick Jeeves, you know, uh, How to Travel Light. Not funny, Phil. <laughs> All right. Not funny. Uh, not funny. Not funny. Yeah, ain't got no sense of humor. No, it's not a question of a sense of humor. It's just every time I turn on the TV and I see these people in the Ukraine, I start crying. I, it's you awful, know. isn't it? It's just disgusting. It's vile and it's horrible, you know. And uh, you know what? I funded uh, the Russians today. How's that? I uh, you filled up your gas. <laughs> you pumped gas. <laughs> <laughs> Six bucks a gallon for regular. Yeah, well, that's not going to the Russians anymore, thank God. Although there may, might still be some Russian oil there. Yeah. We, we don't really, in the United States, we didn't rely on Russian oil that much. Okay. Uh, 7%, something like that. But, you know, it, it, it's a lot. Yeah. You know, and the Russians are talking about well, look, if we can't use banks around the world, we're going to use cryptocurrency. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I hope they know what the hell cryptocurrency is because I don't. Uh, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the thing is they can they can go to. I mean, that's the horrible thing about crypto is yeah. that, sir, that, it, that people who want to use the money for nefarious means can right. use the money and have a place to put it. You know, yeah, when you when you filed your taxes, uh, did they ask if you had any cryptocurrency? No. Well, they did to me. Well, they probably did to me too, but I, I don't fill out my own taxes. Oh. Yeah. You know. And uh, you know, I, I I know that people made money. I think it's a Ponzi scheme, but mm -hmm. and some people made a lot of money uh, with this uh, crypto. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think that it's going to be going for nefarious reasons. It's going to it's going to allow the Russians to try to uh, usurp our sanctions. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, one minute we're sending them planes uh, to Poland, and then you know, how many poles does it take to screw in a plane? You know? See, I mean, you know, you can't make jokes about the poles anymore. They've been acting awfully nice in this whole thing. You know? Yeah, absolutely. They really come up. They've come. They actually come up to the uh, plate on this one. Yeah. You know. Well, they're giving some Soviet MIGs, and they want to exchange for our F-16s. So you know, MIG to the Ukraines, and because they know how to fly those. Yeah, that's the reason they still why. They don't have propellers. Those hmm? MIGs. No, no, they they have propellers. No, they. Don't. <laughs> 
But, uh, no, they learned how to fly MiGs because uh, b basically they were part of Russia at one point. Yeah. You know, so they have all those planes sitting around. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's just it's just horrible what's going on there. What and, we need to give them is some drones. Yeah. Uh, the question is how we get them to them. You know? Well, most of the hackers were coming out of the Ukraine. They know how to get them. They weren't, the hackers weren't coming out of the Ukraine. They were coming out of Russia. Yeah, sure. That's just Russian disinformation. Yeah, you want to, yeah, you want to, you want to believe your boy Trump. Well, he, he, he doesn't use the internet. Huh? You know, he's, uh, he can't, he isn't allowed to use it. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. If he says anything, they just throw him off the platform. He isn't allowed to use it. Yeah. You know, he's got his own platform. I think it's called Truth. Uh, yeah, he can't get it up and running, though. That's the problem. Neither can I. <laughs> Did you try to get on there? No, no. I was talking about sex. Oh, but, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, yeah. You know, uh, it's I, I, I'm trying to make light of what's going on, but it, it's, no, it's there, there are no I jokes here. No I don't jokes. know. I don't know how much longer the Ukrainians can hold out. I think there are people who believe that they can hold out for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. That, that if nothing more, there will be a, uh, a government kind of, not in exile, but in a certain province of the country. Yeah. You know, that will still continue. Well, you know, you know the way Putin handles things is uh, that government will be drugged and uh, summarily murdered. Uh, you know, I mean, all they do is uh, they hit him with a needle. Uh, you saw what they did to any dissidents. Uh, dissidents. Yeah, dissidents. No, dissidents uh, sounds like some kind of, I don't know, powder you put on something. A dissident. Yeah, well, it's a disinfectant. You, yeah. you, you take baking soda and uh, uh, what do they call it? Polygrip, and you, and you put it together. But right. a, a, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't think uh, now Putin, supposedly, there are labs mm -hmm. in the Ukraine that are making, that are experimenting with biological weapons mm -hmm. and uh and and biological things can you, can you imagine if he unleashes that well they think he will they think if he gets frustrated enough and he's getting to that point i mean he doesn't like to lose no and in no. syria he unleashed biological weapons you know? right uh, and uh, you know i i said it was um uh that it was saddam hussein on an earlier show that uh, that Trump bomb, but it wasn't. It was um, uh, in Syria. Uh, Trump reacted to the uh, biological weapons that were, uh, and he sent 51 Tomahawk missiles to an air an air site uh, mm -hmm. where the supposedly had launched these missiles. Uh, where it was supposedly had launched the uh, the biological weapons. Speaking of your boy, I just got a list of things here the other day that I I didn't ever see it laid out like this uh-huh um his accomplishments or uh... it, it, you might call these his accomplishments but uh, nobody else's uh -huh. um trump they say here made it abundantly clear during his four years in the white house that he absolutely loves himself a good dictator well, would you, you know, would you agree with that that's better than the bad dictator well no would you agree with that well, that he loved a good dictator. Mm -hmm. I think that he communicated with uh, uh, the, the guy from North Korea. Well, here we uh, go. Here's the list. Telling yeah. reporters he believed Russia didn't interfere in the 2016 election because Vladimir Putin told him so, despite U.S. intelligence agencies saying otherwise. Okay. Um, who, who is it that... Uh, that was appointed to look into the uh, corruption of the 2016 election, as well as uh, Russian interference. Uh, didn't uh, uh, I'm trying to remember his name? Wasn't now. that an independent uh, investigator? Yeah, uh, yeah. They yeah. spent 25 million dollars investigating that, and they came up with the. Fact and that every side was disappointed in him by the time it came out. You know, yeah, you know. well, he, yeah, but there was no there was no Russian interference. Well, no, he didn't say that. He said that he he didn't have proof of it, but that there could have well well been. 
Okay. No, hey, I, I don't. I don't have proof that uh, you know that the, the world is flat, but it could have been. Here's another pal of uh, Trump, uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. So okay. he had nothing that's to not do the with guy the guy that carved up uh, no, the, no, the no, Turkish no. Jewish no, reporter. No, that's right? the guy who had him carved up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he said he had nothing to do with the murder and dismemberment of Washington Post columnist uh, Jamal Khashoggi, despite the CIA concluding that the Crown Prince ordered the hit. Yeah. Okay. So there's two two dictators he loves. Okay. Kim Jong Un. Yeah. Taking now, his taking Kim Jong Un's word that he didn't know about the year long imprisonment of American studer, student student uh, Otto Warm. Warm, but warm, warm, warm beer, warm beer, uh, who died uh, yeah. a few days after being sent back to the United States. Inviting sadistic, sadistic, I can't talk tonight. I'm going home. Where am I? I am home. I, uh, you don't uh, have far to go. Hosting, uh, 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 inviting sadistic strongman Rodrigo Duarte to swing by the White House and applauding the Philippines president for doing an unbelievable job on the drug problem. He did. If you yeah. have drugs, you die. But he is a strong man. Hosting Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Yeah. Is that uh, the president of Egypt? Yeah. Huh. Host, yeah. Who once oversaw the killing of more than 800 protesters in a single day and telling reporters Sisi was doing fantastic work. Yeah. And uh, praising Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who is known for going Erdogan. after dissenters like uh, a 16-year-old who allegedly insulted him, and a former Miss Turkey who posted a satirical poem about him on social media. So those are some of the people he thinks are wonderful. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, our president... Mm -hmm. uh, asking uh, Saudi Arabia, the guy who carved up Khashoggi, mm -hmm. to pump more oil. Yep. We have him going to Venezuela to talk to Maduro, mm -hmm. uh, begging him for more oil. Now, yeah. Maduro uh, is starving his people. He's killing people left and right. Yeah. Uh, people are eating out of dumpsters, yeah. and he wants to buy fuel from, from Venezuela. As far as I'm concerned, I would rather walk than buy fuel from Venezuela. Yeah. Well, and, you'll be and, you'll be walking. <laughs> well, as long as I can pay the six bucks. But you know, uh, uh, the, a guy who works for me today said, "You better fuel up tonight, even if you only need a half a tank." He says because tomorrow it's going to be more, and uh, I think it's going to be seven seven fifty eight dollars out here. Really? Uh, yeah. Well. Premium, which thank God this car doesn't have to use, is six. It's getting up there around the price of cocaine, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and just yeah. as addictive, I might add. Yeah, well, you know, uh, driving a car nowadays is God's way of telling you you're making too much money. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Old uh, Robin Williams line about right. Coke. Yeah, cocaine usage is. Uh, saying that you're making way too much more money. I can't talk tonight. Yeah. I'm in terrible shape. Just in well, terrible shape. Well, what's going shape. on? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you know. What's the weather in New York? I thought the storms were coming. Well, it snowed today. It snowed? Finally, I had to wait till m March to get snow. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know what the temperature is here, but I didn't wear a jacket today. It was It was extremely pleasant. Mm -hmm. So let me look. Uh, entertainment. And then I go to weather. Uh, and here's Phil with the weather. Yeah, Walnut Creek, 55 degrees right now. And uh, that's uh, that's not bad. That's well, 36 degrees here. Yeah. Yeah, right now. At this time of day. But, yeah, the other day it was like 74, I think. Mid yeah. 74, yeah. Really nice. Well, it's minus 20 in the Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they have no power plants. Uh, they've uh, no electricity, no water. People are drinking from puddles. This is this is just not uh, it's just not OK. Well, I don't know. I'm of the I'm of the feeling that we go in and 
under humanitarian circumstances, humanitarian need, okay, and we do what we got to do, whether it's no-fly zone or go in there with guns blazing or whatever, but let's save those people. And, you, well, and people are going, well, that's going to start World War III. Everybody's so afraid of World War III, and they don't realize they've been fighting it in sections already. Yeah. You know? I mean, right. you know, World War 2.4 was Vietnam. World War 2.6 was, uh, you know, whatever. Let's not uh, forget that we've been I've, war at one place or another for the longest time. And I don't think, I don't think that backed into that kind of corner, uh, Putin's going to pull out the nuclear weapons. And if he does, he's dust. He's just yeah, well, dust. So, so is everybody else. No, it isn't mutually. It, we have many more nuclear weapons. The, How many does it take to, you know, uh, ruin, ruin your day? All he, has, all he has to do is send one up. And by the way, we can probably shoot it down before it gets anywhere. You know? Doesn't he have those hypersonic nuclear weapons i don't know if he does or he doesn't but all i'm saying is we we can't let this man bully us uh and, and bully uh, uh ukraine uh and get away with it i mean he if he if you don't stop him now he's going to try for another country next well ab absolutely uh you know i i think that uh, and when people say well well he can't be beaten uh, ask him about some people that were called the uh, the what was the Afghans that went up against yeah, him. Yeah, they they beat everybody. No, but I mean, uh, he went in. He tried to take over, and uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, you know, the big bad guy, Bin Laden. Yeah, literally, well, he and 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 the Mujahideen, I think it was called. Yeah, uh, threw him out of the country. They they well, couldn't they couldn't take it. Weren't there a couple of invaders in Afghanistan that uh, came in on elephants uh, and? Uh, no, that uh, was that that no that you're thinking about uh, Hannibal. Hannibal. Well, Did Hannibal. He, that was that was that was Europe. Oh, he yeah. didn't go to Afghanistan. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I thought the mountains, uh, you know, no. prevented him from being able to uh, attack that area. No, but he, he he I think he tried to attack Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, and uh, well, the the stuff that's going on is tantamount. Uh, you know, we don't know about concentration camps, and I'm and I doubt that there are any, uh, except for uh, Siberia and the people that he's that are uh, not agreeing with Putin or saying negative things about Putin. I'm sure they're going to Siberia, but this is like Hitler this you know and 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 we the world is allowing him to march through they marched through crimea those people uh you know gave up with pretty much without a without mm -hmm. a fight mm -hmm. but the ukrainians are fighting back and i can tell you this that next to ukraine is poland and uh, you have uh, the other the the, the only Czech problem with Republic. poland is if he goes after poland that's a nato nation I, I don't know that NATO is going to do anything. Oh, I think oh that believe me, believe me. He tries to do anything to a NATO country, that's it. He's he's gone. He's bet on something different and bad. Well, you know, uh, that's that's what we say, yeah. but we're not doing anything. Uh, you know, really. Uh, uh, Biden, for instance, uh, the Pentagon said that they don't want to do the plane deal with the uh, with Polish. No, no, no. That's not what they said at all. What they said was they didn't want to do the deal where they would send them to Germany, and then from uh, Germany no. they would they would go into they want them to go from Poland directly into the Ukraine. Okay, this is uh, one hour ago. Mm -hmm. Pentagon says Poland's offer to send fighter jets for Ukraine is not tenable. Yeah, but it's the fa the the way in which they wanted to do it which was send it to uh, the Ramstein, Ramstein Air Force Base yeah. in, yeah. In, uh, in Germany. Germany. And then from there, they would somehow fly them in to, um, uh, in, into uh, Ukraine, into Ukraine. Uh, 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 or, uh, yeah, so Poland would send them to Ramstein, Ramstein would send them to Ukraine. 
And we didn't, our president didn't find that acceptable because he figured it was fraught with all kinds of problems. That what they want is for Poland to directly take them to, right. you know. But you know, our president is afraid that um, uh, uh, Russia will retaliate. Fuck it. Uh, for Fuck it. Our interference. It, so they retaliate. Okay. I think it's time we stood up to this guy. You know, oh, absolutely. And and I think that uh, if it means that we're going to be in some kind of conflagration, then so be it. But quite well, frankly, I think that already he's doing dangerous things like playing around with those nuclear plants and with he he, he put a dent in Chernobyl. You know, I mean, what what's with with this guy? He says, "Well, we're not attacking civilians," and then tonight they showed entire neighborhoods wiped out. By his what, what about uh, the the hospital where uh, women and listen? Know, you know what he's telling his people inside time. inside Russia that the uh, war's going great, but they're being met with certain resistance where the locals are using children as camouflage. And he says are, that uh, he's fighting Nazis. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, uh, yeah. You know that uh, they're going in to fight Nazis, but I think people are uh, they're aware they're getting enough news. To know that he's not telling them the truth, but, but you know, he the Americans are making Russia part of the uh, negotiation uh, with Iran to get mm -hmm. them into this nuclear peace deal, mm -hmm. and uh, supposedly Iran is supposed to uh, give their nuclear uh, stuff to to Russia, and Russia is supposed to hang on to it. That's like giving you know uh, the keys to the hen house to the fox, and uh, if Iran gets a nuclear bomb, nuclear. <laughs> very good, very good, Phil. Yeah, we made uh, a step. It's, it's we've made a nuclear, step towards intelligence but, uh, here. What? what? It's spelled nuclear, but I, I like nuclear. You know, it's yeah. no nukes, but uh, I I see them using it on Israel. And uh, I know you're not the greatest fan of Israel, but uh, it's they are a, a peaceful nation that is, uh, you know, a lot of their people are living in peace. They're uh, they're a modern country, uh, and they're in the UN. But, but I you know, the UN. I, I, I don't. I, I don't believe Israel has come down against Russia in this whole deal. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm? Uh, I thought uh, Russia. Uh, was uh, a negative towards Israel. Uh, that I don't know, but all I know is they've been very, I think, quiet to, uh, like India has refused to vote against Russia. Wow. Yeah. Another uh, nucle nuclear power. Yes, right. Uh, uh, you know, I, Of course, I, their, I speak... their bomb goes off, it smells like curry. Yeah. So well, you know, uh, China... And and the U and Russia have an agreement, and China said that they would support Russia, and it's just a matter, I think, a matter of months until China makes a move on Taiwan, and uh, uh, you know, and that may involve the U.S. and it may involve the U.S. on two I fronts. I think I think uh, China has a lot more to lose by doing that. I mean, there's a there's, there's something to be said about them st still caring about making a buck. You know. Yeah. Uh, now you you have some acquaintances that uh, work for Chinese bank, and have they said what their uh, what their thoughts were on uh, what what's going on in the uh, in the China Sea? No, no, no. Because of the, the one the people my wife works with, they're, just, they're living here in America. You know, and and yeah. many most of them aren't even Chinese. Most of them are like German and. Austrian and things like that, you know, from other countries. Yes. So, well, you know. you know, things aren't looking very good around the world, and uh, yeah, it's. I think it's time that uh, you know America uh, realize that we have a we have a place in the world, uh, to, and that we can see the freedom that the Ukrainians are fighting for. We should be yeah. proud of them. Uh, that they make us. Uh, look weak. You know what made me really like uh, what's his name? The, uh, the, the, uh, the comedian, <laughs> the comedian, the Ukrainian president. Voldemar. Uh, even with a name like Voldemort, you think he's a magician? No, you think he was like out of Harry Potter, Voldemort, yeah. uh, 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 Walensky. He, yeah. um, in his, 
his speech for his inaugural before yeah. the parliament said the one thing I don't want you to do do not put my pictures up in post offices and in government uh, places and so on and so forth he says I'm not a hero I don't deserve to have my picture anywhere you know right. You but know, if you don't put it up, I want you to buy it from my agent. No, no, no. But he just said, "I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. want you to put." Well, yeah, and I thought that was really nice. You he know, spoke, yeah, absolutely. He spoke. To, he's not a dictator. He spoke to the British Parliament. Oh, uh, it's a wonderful uh, speech. Yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me. Wonderful speech. Terrible translator. Probably, but yeah. uh, you know they were comparing it to uh, you know powerful speeches like FDR's Churchill, uh, Churchill, Churchill. Yeah, right. Well, because uh, he was kind of paraphrasing Churchill in the speech to kind of get the British people on his side, you know. Yeah, and there are Canadian fighters that have gone. There's actually they said a battalion size a group of Canadians. They're I Americans. They're American soldiers. We're going well, over there. There, there's American soldiers as well. Uh, there's a guy I watch on YouTube. His name is James Yeager, and I guess he was uh, uh, an American soldier. And uh, currently, uh, he has Lou Gehrig's disease, just the beginning of it, mm -hmm. uh, ALS. And yeah. uh, he's got he's 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 on his way there now. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he he's a, he was teaching a firearms instructor mm -hmm. and. Uh, and he's uh yeah he's on his way right now he had a live stream saying hey these are the things i'm packing this is what i'm taking mm -hmm. and uh yeah yeah there, there are some brave people out there going and and helping yeah. yeah yeah you know even even china had american uh fighters uh against japan that was um uh what do they call those guys the flying tigers mm -hmm. and uh a friend of mine's dad was a flying tiger and uh and his uh, he got paid so much you know they were like mercenaries mm -hmm. and so he would he would fly and i guess they you know they got paid based on how many planes they shot down with japanese planes right right so anyway I, i'm trying to see here i got a problem here tonight with, no. my, with audio on, my, on one of my things and I, I can't understand what the problem is oh well you know that's Let's a, see. Uh, tightening financial conditions, sound alarm for world economy. I mm -hmm. think, uh, oh, another thing, Capital Report, Russia underestimates Ukraine fight. Mm -hmm. That we knew. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Mexico suspends five over soccer match brawl. Yeah. Uh, date night can be inexpensive and fun. These are the, these are the headlines. <laughs> date, date night can be fun. Yeah, inexpensive and fun. I, you know, I, I, I can't stand listening to them, let alone uh, taking them out on a date anymore. Really? Yeah. Dating is over. Dating is over for you? Yeah. You're through with it, are you? Yeah. I take Faye to dinner, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, I can't figure out why I'm not getting audio into this other program, which I use as a backup. Uh, you know, well, as long as the main program. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just did. Okay. All righty. Okay. There we go. Okay. Anyway, so um, I, you know, it's one thing or another, right? I come in here on a on a Wednesday, and it's like I had to start off with and start everything all over again. You know. I, I I'm finding I have to reboot my computer every couple of days just because yeah. I'm losing the wireless internet. Really. Oh, yeah, not only reboot the computer, but reboot the network, hmm. the modem. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, uh, it's right. it's going through the wall, and because of that, uh, you know, the signal is getting getting weaker. That five G yeah. signal. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, you want to stick around? Sure. Please, because I'm so out of it, I could use the help. You know, <laughs> okay. You know, I'm a lot of. Let help. me let me bring in. There are just two people waiting here. It's Charlie Wallace and there is uh, Brian Neary. He is yeah. here as well. Yeah. Wait a minute. Loyal listeners Wait, no, and callers. Huh? The loyal listeners and callers. You can you can always depend on Charlie uh, for the COVID news. Well, yeah, but I can't count on Charlie all the time because he's out doing his baseball thing. 
you know. Yeah. But I, I you know, I, I realize he has to do that. So. Now, isn't uh, isn't there a strike going on with baseball? Uh, or there, there's, there's major league baseball. Major league, yeah. Well, you're not, a major league not, guy. Not. <laughs> uh, killing our game. Yeah. yeah. They want. <clears throat> they're making all these changes to it, and it's just getting ridiculous. They're going to make them use a ball and a bat now. No, they're making the bases bigger. They want oh, to well, through. Wow. They want to make the bases bigger. They want to. No shift rule, so they can't do the shift, which I don't I don't care about that much. What's the shift? So they use analytics. So if they know that you like to hit it in the right field, 80% yeah. of the time, they're going to shift their whole outfield over. So they use analytics to shift their teams, which I don't really care about. But changing the bases, they want to do the ticker on the the pitcher. But they keep saying that. They, they, they wanted to do the, the batter couldn't get out of the batter's box unless he called a timeout and all this stuff. And now it, they, they still take 10 minutes between every pitch. So just, <laughs> yeah, they do. You talk um, about guys, the guys. Bigger, though, you, you start changing steel records. You start changing all those things. Yeah. It's so yeah, baseball, uh, one big asterisk. Yeah, and I hate, I hate the, the, the designated hitter. And uh, yeah. when I was a kid, when I was a boy, <laughs> when I was a boy, we just played baseball. Now, yours is is yours baseball, Charlie, or softball? The softball. Softball. Yeah. We used to use a stoop, you know, you, you know where the brownstone was. You know, you, you hit the ball yeah. against the stoop. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That, well, that, 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 that was stick ball. Stick we did ball. that sometimes too when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Kids when they were when. Kids in New York, I was always yeah. jealous that I was never a kid in New York, you know, because you guys, you know, you, you had your baseball teams in your neighborhood and, you know, you just, it was just, there were things you did like the playing stickball, you know, yeah, stick ball was now fun. I'm not much of a sports guy, but I think I would have played stickball. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it was, um, you, you didn't have a baseball field. Yeah, so he played in the street. Yeah, right, exactly. But I don't think they have that anymore. You know, uh, I don't think I, I don't think parents would let their kids play in the street. You know, I, mm -hmm. I remember I was I was thinking about it. I remember going trick or treating when you could eat the unwrapped candy. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No. no. P parents are very protective of their kids these days, as well they should be, right, Brian? Yeah, but the kids don't even want to go outside anymore. Adrian wants to go outside. She loves going outside. But the other kids, it's like they'd rather be grounded than, than go outside. It's like death. What, why don't, their computer and why don't they like to be outside? What's the reason for that? What was that? What was the reason for that, for not liking to go outside? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Because I, mean, I would say because when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to climb all over the hillsides in Marin County, you know, and I was, yeah. you know, I was under ten when I was doing that. My parents just went be home by dinner, you know, but today I don't think they would. I would a parent would let you do that. Yeah. yeah when I was a kid, seven years old, we used to walk two miles to the nearest park. Yeah. Yeah. You go play in the park by so yourself. I rode. I rode my bicycle all over the place. You know, and uh, they didn't. My parents didn't know where I was. I, you know, I'm out. You know, I'm I'm going over to a friend's house to play, and and it was different also back east. When you went over to a friend's house, you just showed up. Now maybe that's why nobody liked me, but uh, you know, you, you you just you just showed up. Oh, Phil's here. You know, put another yeah. thing on. Or uh, but in the West Coast, you got to make reservations. Uh, you know, is it okay if Phil has a play date? Yeah, yeah, they play dates. Has a condom. Yeah, I just you know like uh, also when I was a kid, the dog just let the dog out. He'd go out, come back, you know, about five hours later, tail between his legs, dog tired as it were, uh, and he'd have some dinner and he'd go to sleep. Yeah. And the well, cat would, our cheese. cat would go out the back window and go away for maybe a day or so, looking for stuff to do, and then come right back and we'd hear him hit the back window and that he'd climb in on and we go oh there there's sylvester was his name there's sylvester yeah. 
Later on, it was Mal uh, because it was a Siamese. But I mean, uh, so and and so pretty much, I was in the same league with the dog and the cat. You know, yeah. just make sure you're home by dinner. Yeah, that yeah. was it. Be home by dinner. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a different time. People, yeah. Kids weren't getting sold into slavery, and uh, yeah. uh, you know, and and their body parts. They wanted change off. back for their dime when they tried to sell you into slavery. Oh uh, well, you know, my father uh, went to a tough high school in Brooklyn. It was called Boys High. It was mm -hmm. the Polytechnic School. I've heard of that and, school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard of that yeah. school. Yeah, and. Uh, he said that when you got thrown out of the other schools, you ended up at Boys High. And he says the tough guys used to charge a dime to get across the street. Uh, well, excuse me, I messed up the joke. It, it was a nickel to get across the street, and he used to charge the tough guys a dime to get back. So, you know, that's... Okay, all right. Uh, if you wouldn't have said it was a joke, it was a better story. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, it, it, well, it, it was a story, but uh, I blew the line. <laughs> Yeah, I, I grew up in Redwood City Hills, <clears throat> in, uh, in the peninsula, and and yeah, we we lived up on top of the hill. Either you had a mini bike or you had a horse, and we'd just be gone in the morning and come back at night. Okay, uh, we're, 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 I want to talk about doing, what uh, he was doing dressage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just I want to I want to ask this question of each of you because I bet there's a different answer. What can we call it? Uh, like I, I'm, I'm so out of it tonight. Oh, East Coast, West Coast. East Coast, West Coast. Gasoline prices. Uh, I'll bet the cheapest gas price we're going to hear tonight is is uh, from uh, Charlie. Yep. Okay. I'll bet that so too. first, let's start with uh, with uh, with uh, Phil. How much do you pay for? Do you pay for gas today? Yeah. How much? Uh, I uh, I filled up uh, this afternoon and it was. Five ninety nine a, a nine a gallon for regular. Uh, super oh. was six twenty nine, uh, and that's you know a high tier gas station. It was Chevron. Yeah, I, I, okay. I usually and you're use... you're in Contra Costa County, right? Okay. Now uh, Brian is in Lodi. Well, no, you're not in Lodi. I'm in San Jose. San Jose. Lodi is a little yeah, bit Clara. cheaper, but San Jose. And I go. There's like two really really inexpensive gas station so i plan my stuff so even if i have like a quarter tank i'll still go there uh so that one was uh 598 sorry 589 589 okay a little bit if cheaper been, little... there are like lines coming up there i drove by after adra's dance and there's a long line going for a there. dime i the... haven't you know i haven't got gas in a week and i paid 485 a week ago yeah well yeah wait till wow, tomorrow up a lot yeah, yeah i'm gonna look on gas buddy and see what it is oh right. he's got yeah. that stupid gas buddy oh, yeah, yeah. There, there was one down the street that's like a car, nice street little sign have it too. on yeah. the way home and i saw that thing and it was under it was under five dollars because i said i was a pain over five mm -hmm. and it went to 501 then it went to 521 then it went up to six dollars 621 and now it's back to 601. now you want to come here to buy your gas. The Chevron station, uh, Chevron, sorry. The 76 station I go to has got regular, if you're paying cash, for five forty nine a gallon. And then the Chevron around the corner from it is 20 cents more. It's five sixty nine a gallon. And that's if you pay cash? This is the new thing? Yeah, oh, in Fremont. Who uses regular anymore? Come on. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't have car, but it's a Toyota. Right. 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 So, the yeah, cheapest no. station in town in a McLaren. Tony, do you? Uh, own, yeah. do you do yes. You own? Oh, uh, I don't drive. Yes, I do. My brother drives, and we just went. It's, Your mother it's, drives? No, she doesn't oh, anymore. No, I'm sorry. Brother. You know why I said my mother? It was her birthday the other day. We had a cake for her. But anyway. Did she I eat like, it? No, me and my sister came up, but we like to say she's no longer with us. <laughs> But anyway, my brother went to fill up. You know why? Because she is no longer with you. I anyway, go ahead. I, was, I, was gonna, I think it was right over here in Middle Village. I think it was like four, four like fifty. I could be wrong. Like it's like four and a half dollars. But do you have a car? No, I drive. I don't drive, but I have my dad's car if I wanted to. My brother has a car. He uses it. We put the dogs in my dad's car now to the vet because it's easier. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, um, um, has no concept what owning a car is like. Yeah, no. yeah. Well, how about how about you, uh, Charlie? Now he's in Texas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Refi lots of driving back from Australia. softball. Yeah. I saw four 
dollars and nine cents a gallon. First time I've ever seen it over four dollars a gallon. But uh, don't you? Aren't you all jealous? But yeah. but come on, these are great. You know, it, it really pissed me off when they were going up to five dollars. Mm -hmm. I pay supreme, okay. So, but then they said, oh, it's going to be seven dollars, or maybe it's going to be eight dollars. It just gave these gas places like a yeah. free ticket. Aren't these guys billionaires? Not the gas owners, but aren't these Chevron and all those? Aren't those like, yeah. billion billionaires who are running those? So how, how can they say this is all because of this gas and this bullshit? It's not. They're 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 oh, jacking the how much of it up. how much of it is tax? You know, they were talking temporarily about suspending the federal tax, which I don't know. It's is only that about nineteen cents. Yeah, it's not that we, much. Well, I thought all the taxes add up to about seventy cents. California. Eight, yeah. So, you know, if they would you know, at least that would help. And then if I believe we have some reserves, some serious amount of yeah. reserves Six months, uh, uh, yeah. that can be opened up. Mm -hmm. But Europe, their their gas was always expensive and it's going to get even worse. Uh, and, and that's going to start crippling the rest of the world. So did California, they say today, hmm? State did of California they, gasoline tax is 51.1 cents a gallon. Not That's gonna, California. Yeah, not and then you add in the federal, federal, which I think is nineteen cents. Yeah. And yeah, so we're close to a dollar. Yeah. Seventy. Yeah. I yeah. just want to point out that the price of wind energy and social energy has not gone up one penny during this Absolutely, whole time. Absolutely, yeah, zero. In fact, it it actually got cheaper during the Trump administration because of all of his hot air. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, I guess I didn't even bring it up, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, Brian, doesn't your car need rocket fuel? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Only on track day. No, no. Don't. No, but I don't drive it that much. No, Probably not do. not now. <laughs> no, but but you know, when I go to Lodi, I plan. I plan my gas stuff. So I, I get, when I go to Lodi, um, I need gas. I fill up. And then my company pays me back. So, yeah. So, you uh, don't want to take I, the Tesla? I, I, yeah, I was talking. Uh, I want to. I was talking to Bubs about his car because he has a big. Uh, he's got a Toyota uh, Camry. Or yeah, but it's, it's still, it's, it's yeah. you know. I thought that was a big guzzling monster no, and he says he, he says he's getting about 25 gallons to the yeah. mile or 25 oh, miles to the gallon. gallon. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's like a 1990 toyota uh what is it um camry mm -hmm. yeah so gas taxes total in california right now are a dollar 18 per gallon wow california federal sales tax everything what do you think this is going to what do you, how do you think this is going to affect the electric cars well, right. I think they're pushing uh, that that there's the Green New Deal, and they mm -hmm. are before the Russian war. Uh, and this this kind of thing, they wanted to get people out of uh, uh, gasoline cars. So yeah. they they uh, started to import oil. The prices started to go up, and this was helping uh, you know the progressives. To get people out of their cars and start buying uh, Teslas and things like that, and you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, electric cars. But the electric cars, in the long run, end up costing almost as much to charge and use as a gasoline car. No, so no, uh, no, no. I think it's going to be the availability. Uh, I, think, uh, I think you're wrong no there. Uh -huh. well, I, drink, no, guys. you're completely. Uh, everybody have a drink. Everybody I read an article. Uh, you know about the uh, coal fire plants, nuclear, yeah. <laughs> nuclear plants, uh, and uh, and and other uh, types of. Uh, plants Do you notice everybody's generate... drinking, Phil? Yeah. Well, I you mean, notice because... his lips are still moving. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with you. If you want to say, hey, you know, electricity isn't cheap, but right. it's much cheaper than gas. Well, because I was, uh, I've had this thing where I kind of like the idea of those hydrogen vehicles uh, from from a uh, clean air standpoint. But there's only 19 hydrogen places to to fuel up, yeah. and uh, it would I'd use the tank of fuel to get to the gas station or to the hydrogen station, 
and and get back and i i would never be able I, to i guess i'd get to see you more often there's a uh, chevron <laughs> with a hydrogen thing about a mile from me yeah there's always there's got a long ramon. line yeah i think the closest one to me is san ramon and that's how cheap is miles. hydrogen yeah hydrogen how, but how cheap is it uh i don't think it's that cheap uh you know. They're, they're, they're starting oh. to use them in the. Okay, so wouldn't electric wouldn't electric electric be cheaper? Uh, depends on what part of the country you're charging. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. We have somebody here who has a Tesla. Yeah. Right. How much do you figure in electric does that cost you a month? He's got an electric cord running to his neighbor's house. <laughs> almost um, actually our company has a card that we can use and we get free charges so doesn't tesla give you a couple of years of free charging yeah 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 some of them do yeah because you have to uh, go to they have to go to their pumps the tesla superchargers yeah so and, we've been and, doing and that it, but then also uh, like i said work has charging stations at each uh building and so we, so she has a card, so she just goes there and charges whenever. So well, the hydrogen the at the gym, mm -hmm. the the hydrogen fuel cell things they give when you buy one of those cars, like the Mirai, or there's another one starts with N, uh, by another company. Uh, when you buy those, uh, they give you a couple of years worth of hydrogen uh, fill ups, like fifteen hundred dollars a year for two years. Uh, so they they subsidize them yeah uh charlie every park in austin has free charging stations if you got an electric car you can charge your car for free while you're playing softball or whatever okay but now let me ask, let me ask brian do you ever charge it at home yeah and i haven't seen any change in your electric bill yeah. i guess i yeah, guess not. your cost more than gas theory okay, just went down okay. The now no, 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 let me no. wait a minute let me take another step further with brian uh do you have a fast charger no uh yeah so we have the charger it goes in the regular wall the 110 we just got the one hooked up when we did construction that's like almost like the the washer and dryer you know the dryer one mm -hmm. and that one's an eight hour charge and we've only used it a few times but still haven't seen any change but you can plug it in at night go to sleep and the next and it's morning fully charged in the morning good now. to go yeah. yeah okay good so yeah it, it's becoming and how many miles do you get on a single charge 300 over 300 okay well that, that I, i'll buy that that's reasonable you know I, but see she drives it you she drives it and she's going line. back and forth to work so and she has traffic and stuff but that that's perfect she has a half hour commute to work every day and that works perfect for her she never has to pay for gas now we're going to go <clears throat> when we go on our cruise in, uh, in a couple months uh, we're going to drive down to L.A., mm -hmm. and they have a thing. You plan ahead. You tell them where you're going, and it'll tell you different spots on the route. So we're going to leave early in the morning like I like doing, and then we'll go to bre we'll go to breakfast somewhere, and we get to pick any place we want to stop, and they'll have a supercharger there that we could charge, and then we'll be able to make it the way home. Good. The way, the way to where we're going. Good. Good, good, good. Sounds terrific. Yeah. You know, the Internet sucks. I'm trying to, uh, comp uh, there's a thing, it says, compare quotes from top-rated electrical wiring and pan panel services for, uh, for, uh, for automobiles. And uh, that's the headline. And then uh, what it does is it takes you to homeadvisor.com. You know, <laughs> it redirects you to, you know, want to build a deck? No, I want to know the rate of how much it costs to charge uh, an electric vehicle. And uh, but you can't find anything anymore. Have you noticed that the commercials, if, if you look, if you click on a uh, not an ad, but if, if you click on a, uh, a story, a news story, the commercials are really invasive. They they overlay uh, the, the, the news story and you yeah. can't get rid of them. Uh, it looks like Alan wants to say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're muted, Alan. Oh, there's uh, it, it says work on your on your thing. Well, it's it's a lot of work to get on this. You're muted, Alan. I, but I know I, I, tell him. I know the face, but I don't remember the name. Sorry, I was work. Right. Is that the okay. guy that takes the bath? Work. I work. <laughs> right, right. You go to Tesla.com. They have a chart there. Imagine that. Sorry, I'm, I'm on my work so, profile. So Sorry. Uh, okay. The Tesla Model Three to go 200 miles cost about 15 dollars and it's about 17 dollars to, to charge the model x 
which is that high end car. Yes, but how much? 200 miles. But is that being subsidized because no, the cost no. of electricity is. is I don't is, know. Well, here, hand. here's the hint put in solar in your house. I was going to say, if you put in solar, it's free. <laughs> and, or if you run a cord over your neighbor's yard. Yeah, you know? that's hey, if right. If Brian puts in solar, every day will be cloudy. Now, now, work. What, what's your what's your name again? I, I'm sorry, Matt. Matt of Matt. course. Matt. Sorry, I'm on my just work. Just like profile. it says on, yeah, on the yeah, on the yeah. Box. This is this I just Matt I just changed it. up in uh, Seattle, right? Right, right. right. Yeah, I, so I heard you talking oil. Um, so what are you doing? Working in. out while we're doing the show? This is yes. Yeah, this is my home gym. <laughs> and what what do you have in your home gym? Not a whole lot. I just have a uh, some weights, some free weights. Oh, I see. Because if you had a tr yeah. if you had a treadmill and then you had a Tesla, you could probably power your Tesla <laughs> while working out. You're just get a hamster. Yeah, yeah. So the price of gas here in the Upper Northwest is about four eighty. Four eighty. Okay. Yeah. So again, uh, Phil, how much again? Four ninety nine. A regular today five ninety nine nine. Five ninety nine nine. Uh, and and Charlie. Five eighty nine for super. Okay, and so regular and, is about five fifty a gallon. Uh -huh. And up on. there in the Great Northwest is four eighty. Four eighty. Okay, and of course where Charlie is, it's three cents a gallon. <laughs> I, 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 I do, well, they don't. They don't even have sales tax where Charlie is. I I mentioned this. No, uh, no, I, we do have sales. Tax. I've mentioned this before. I remember. Yeah, we don't have income tax. Oh, okay. Sorry. No state income. Tax. I remember it. Sales when, tax is high. When I was a boy, I remember it at uh, nine cents a gallon. Nine cents. Nine cents a yeah. gallon. When they had really? a price, they had a price remember, war. They had a price war, and it was nine cents. Seventeen cents, and uh, well, uh, I remember uh, nineteen cents as being the average. It was that for years. Any gas yeah. station would go to nineteen cents. Nineteen. It was like the mid sixties. But what happened was there was a thing they had, did every now and then called a price war, in which one gas company would go up against another gas company. And uh, they would lower their prices, and every time you'd see one gas station lower it a penny, another one would lower it a penny, and at one point it got down to nine cents a gallon. But back in those days, there was a company called Aramco, and they were in Saudi Arabia, American company. It got thrown out, and I believe that the barrel of oil was three dollars and fifty cents, or right around there, mm -hmm. uh, back in the sixties. Uh, now, what are we reaching? A hundred dollars a barrel right now? One hundred and thirteen, I think. It's so over hundred now. Yeah. yeah. So it's one hundred and ten online right now. Mm. Wow. So uh, yeah, I, I think you know when I was a kid, it was like three dollars and change a barrel, and and we had nineteen to twenty five cent a gallon gas. You uh, can fill up your car for two bucks. It's gonna yeah. go up. <laughs> the then I just then I remember it build. rose it rose up to uh, uh, about ten years first ten years of my driving it went from nineteen cents to twenty nine cents. The House just passed a bipartisan bill to ban Russia oil. Now it's going to cost next week. It's going to be eight dollars a gallon in the Bay Area. Oh really? Yeah. But that's okay because you know that that way we don't have to go over there and do a fly zone. Yeah. We can just. Screw them over well, by not buying their oil. Here yeah, but China here, will buy it. Here we've got That's Jeff. Okay, as long as our prices go up, I'm okay with that. Here we've got Jeff. Jeff, you're still down in Georgia, are you? Florida. Florida. No, he was in. You're you're muted, Jeff. You're, you're muted. You're just, muted, uh, Jeff. You're, you're muted, Jeff. Don't tell him. Yeah. You, you, there you go. Where where are you in Georgia? <laughs> Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, Charlie. <laughs> Uh, George, you're in Georgia. This okay, is so, Pam's sister. Okay, so obviously because you're driving, right? Yeah, you're paying for gas. Paying gas. That's yeah. right. Uh, That's what, was it, Florida? Florida. 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 what was it when you left Florida? How much was it when you left Florida? Four dollars and ten cents. Okay. Have you bought any gas since then? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> when did you buy it last? Just. Uh, Today or okay. yesterday. And how much was it now in Georgia? Well, in Georgia, it's not so bad. It's like four ten. Oh, it's four, like four ten, like in Florida. Right. Oh. But Florida it was five bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's because you're a Democrat. They know. Oh. 
<laughs> they they changed the price on the pump. Do you remember Sunoco where you could dial which uh, which octane you wanted? You think they were all the same octane? You just paid more if you moved the dial? <laughs> well, I remember. Now, do you remember these days, folks? Do you remember Ethel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And later became Mertz. Ethel Mertz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ethel and and, and, and regular Lucy. and Lucy. Yeah. My mother loved that show. I guess. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it ethanol? Isn't ethanol? Ethanol. ethanol. No, 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 it ethanol. no, it was called Ethel. Just Ethel. Yeah. 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 You remember white gas? White gas. What no. Um, yeah. Well, it was privileged, but uh, yeah, it was uh, white gas. Didn't have. <laughs> Uh, something in it. Uh, let me uh, Google what white gas. And you had leaded oh, oh. and unleaded, and I can yeah. never oh, tell no, what's the difference. This is when everything well, was leaded. This is before oh. there was unleaded. There was yeah. This oil. everything was leaded then. White gas is fill after Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the burrito. Somebody, somebody, uh, one of Phil's friends sent me the average fart leaves your ass at seven miles an hour. <laughs> Uh, that, I don't know how they know that, but whatever. It's the average fart fuel. leaves your ass at seven miles an hour. Yeah, the average fart probably used a radar gun on their friend. <laughs> Who the hell knows? It's a friend of Phil's. Science. Uh, Paul. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Je Amazon. Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, in the car, I'm getting like thirty-five miles per gallon because oh, uh, I have a hybrid car. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Oh, right. Good. There you go. Good. Uh, okay. I thought he was going to say in the car he gets 35 parts <laughs> per mile. Okay. Well, the, actually, white gas, what? White gas is um, is additive free and it's um, it's supposedly a, a, a lot more powerful than regular gas and they used to use that in cars and boats and <clears throat> And things like why that. they gotta call it white gas then more powerful racist well as opposed well, as opposed as opposed to uh, negro it's racist. gas it's racist it's yeah. privileged no it was <laughs> no additives yeah. yeah no additives yeah um but uh, so, alex yes so i was just going to say uh, you know i used to work for chevron and um if you want to know if you want to scream at people it's really the retailers who are really raking it in because chevron only owns about 300 stations uh -huh. out of 10,000. yeah okay so as far as chevron anyways um the bulk of it is going to the retailers if you want how much the company the, the oil company is making with the price per barrel and yeah they're making a fucking fortune right now <laughs> yeah hey, is pectron really worth it or are we getting screwed as consumers techron yeah <laughs> uh it's a bit of a luxury yeah. Well, I mean, everybody it, I ever worked with always told me, just get your gas at Arco. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, McLaren, I go to Moe's. It's called Moe's over here. Mo's. Seriously. Yeah. I used to use Shell all the time. <clears throat> That's the one with the little yellow thing, remember? Yeah. 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 Shell's that, good. I use was that because there was a Shell station at Fillmore and Lombard? That was one of the reasons why, but also because there was one in Sausalito. Uh, yeah, yeah, with the car wash. Yeah, and it was always the cheapest price in gas in the whole county. And it had a car wash. It had a car wash. But it was also the cheapest gas in the county. I don't know how they did it, but always you could go anywhere else in the county, and then you could pull up to this Shell station and be just gasped at how cheap the gas was. In order to get out of that Shell station, you had to have your car washed, and the car wash was $25. No, it wasn't, <laughs> and you didn't have to. <laughs> Bill, Bill still clips coupons every week to get his car washed. Uh, and actually, I pay fifty dollars a month for unlimited car washes. You know what? But, I, what I wanted to do once is I wanted to go through a car wash, just walk through it, yeah, while it's going. Problem. You know, just take they, a shower. They, they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't. No. Let me. And then if I I had a convert a, a, a t top, I wanted to take the t top off and <laughs> clean the inside too. <laughs> Yeah. If you go through, or if you go through Oregon, they'll come out and fill up the tank for you. Do they really? Yeah. They, yeah. Well, they New have Jersey. to, don't no. they? There's a they law there. There's a law in Oregon. And the gas station. And I, I did it when I moved here. I drove through there, and it was really awkward. <laughs> Why? I didn't quite know what to do with myself. Matt, do you do you tip the uh, people that fill your car? 
no, no, but it was awkward. I just I did didn't they, really know what to say. Well, I remember they used to come out. <laughs> they do the windshield <laughs> and 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 put the air in and check the oil. Oh, no, it's yeah, not. Uh, full they don't do it. They, they don't do any of that. Yeah. They just fill your tank. <laughs> it's not full service. Yeah, but it's pretty nice. They just send a car out, and if it's cold, you don't have to get out. Hmm. I had a buddy that had a job in a, a gas station on the Connick State Parkway that uh, goes from New York to like Yorktown. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the winter, uh, you'd, you know, I'd hang out and uh, I'd help and they'd you'd wash the windshield and, uh, and and do all of that stuff, check the oil. I was just helping. Yeah, my but buddy. you remember they used to wear snappy outfits, too. They used Not to have those way. little bow ties that were like <laughs> rubbery bow ties. You remember those things? Yeah, yeah. Little hats, uh, little hats, and the hats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but what, hat. what and, and wait a minute, I, I was mentioning this. Uh, you'll hear it on Friday because I was talking to Bubs about it. There was a time when I I remember where you pull into a gas station and you were attacked by four yeah. people. By, by four people, <laughs> one of which was filling your tires, putting water, checking the water, checking wow. the oil. Uh, another one was pumping the gas, and another one was washing your windshield all at the they're same just time. Your wallet. The now, they're, they're all homeless people. Yeah, right. like, now it's all homeless people. Well, with you know, in New still, York, they still wash your wash your windshield as with the newspaper. Yeah, you remember when you uh, you'd, you'd be in New York at, at a red light, and homeless guy would come out with a squeegee and dirty uh, quarter dirty. and and, get, and, and, and a dirty person. rag too. Yeah, yeah. dirty and, rag. Van Ness, Van Ness, I saw a guy do that. Yeah, they do it in San Francisco still. Yeah. yeah. And now you have to pay for air. Well, oh, yeah. we were talking about that too, Bubs and <laughs> yeah. I. Well, got him ruining like Friday show. For the we were talking. Run for yeah. thirty. We were talking about how you go into you, uh, the first time I ever saw that you had to pay for air. I went air what? And water. This air is and water. air. It's fucking yeah, this air. And water. <laughs> I used to go there to do my bike. Bought my own air pump. Bought my own air. There you go. Pump. Really? Yeah, I have one. I have one that's up to the cigarette lighter in the car now, so you can just. Yeah. That looks uh, phallic, you... Charlie. What's that? That looks phallic. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, you <laughs> had to, you had to put a quarter car. a quarter in, and it would turn on the pump, so you could put yeah, in the yeah. air. But you had to rush around fast and do the air yeah, before the pump. Yeah, double the A dollar now. It's now a dollar. It's a dollar. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. At least, at least yes, a dollar. It is. You can spend five dollars filling your car. That's why yeah. I bought that. Progressive. The progressives want us on wooden wheels. That's why it's so expensive. To put air in your tires. That had nothing to do with progressives. That has to do I with. Re I remember paying well, ten cents for gas. Yeah, I, I was yeah, telling them. I remember that. nine cents. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah, that's that's some nice memories we have being older. That's right. It's about the only they, memories we have. Did you have those have. pumps with the glass top? No. And the gasoline flowing yeah. through the little bubble? Yeah. You're going there was there was today. a bubble, wasn't there? There was a thing yeah, that spin, a spun around yeah. with a little bead in it or something. Right. Yeah. 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 Gasoline that was moving through it would spin this little thing. Yeah. And then That's, if you go back there, when I was when I was growing up, there was still some of the older pumps, which were these, almost like a bell jar. Yeah, yeah. And you filled it with gas up to like 10 gallons or something. And then you would pump it. Uh, you know, get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 In other words, yeah, like a bell jar, like and you'd, pump, you'd say how, much, how many gallons you wanted, and you'd put the gas in this thing up to that point, and then you'd pump it into your car. In Sausalito, there was an abandoned Mohawk gas station. Mohawk, man. That's Back in 1975 or 4, I took a couple of photos of the pump, the inside of the pump, you know, it was artsy-fartsy, and the decal. I'm going to grab it. It's so neat. Well, I have Mohawk it. was the Indian with the Mohawk on yeah. him, right? Yeah. 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 Which today they couldn't have Mohawk gas stations oh, because we oh, considered right. improper to have Mohawk gas stations. Come on, isn't this ridiculous? What's wrong? It, it is ridiculous. I I'm, mean, they have no sense of humor anymore. Well, the thing that I bothered me, I'll tell you what bothered me, is when they started making all these baseball teams change their names. Now, I don't mind if you want them to change the mascot because maybe it was like a hook-nosed Indian, you know, cartoonish Indian. 
But, I mean, there's something very noble about Indians, and why not uh, name your team after Indians? There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Nobody can do that in a malicious way. That, just brave is not a derogatory term. Exactly. Right. Oh, gasoline. And this this was in Sausalito. Oh, wow. Uh, Wait a minute. That yeah. wasn't the Mohawk <laughs> gasoline Indian, though. It's I'm sorry. No, I, this was the decal that was on the pump. I took a picture. I took a picture yeah. of it. Well, then it must have been falling apart or something because that oh, wasn't. Let me show you the pump. <laughs> if you want to talk about falling apart? This is exciting. Okay, you got to walk down the road to get it. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's that's, the, that's across from his apartment. Off in the <laughs> no, that's where he keeps his clothes. Uh, he's stuck in the room. He's got it now. He's in, that's how he's only doing. Here, here we go. More pictures. This is the inside of the wow, Mohawk pump. I, I can't see that? it. Yeah, I, I, I got to put on glasses. Four or five. Wait a minute. What? That's the wow. inside of the pump. Yeah. Oh, that's the inside of the pump, huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the. Cool. Yeah, but the Indian that was on Mohawk was just kind of a nice silhouette of an Indian, if I oh, remember. Oh, that was a picture of the decal that was on this pump. Huh. Well, I, I, that's not the uh, Mohawk. You actually framed that. Wow, that ought to be worth something. That's my shot. I thought it was nice. Uh, any other this, any any other is brands this of gasoline? Alpha Way or Alpine behind you there? Any other brands of gas that you can remember? <laughs> Phillips sixty six. Yes. Okay. How about ready for this? Richfield. Yeah. Yeah. It became, it became Argo. What the country is that from? Huh? Atlantic Richfield. Richfield. Oh. What was yes. the one that had the dinosaur? Oh, uh, Sinclair. Uh, Sinclair. Yeah. Sinclair. yeah. <laughs> I just remember that. And well, Mexico had the Mexico tiger. Arco. Well, tiger. It, it, what you had, you had um, uh, the tiger. Mexico tiger. What the Texas? No, it wasn't yes. Texaco. Yeah, Texaco tiger. Yeah, Texaco tiger. Yeah. Was it Texaco tiger? I thought the tiger yeah. was. Yeah. Well, you had Exxon, but you also mm -hmm. had Esso. Yeah. yeah. Different different company. Esso E S S O, which actually yeah. meant Standard Oil. Right. Yeah. And then uh, Exxon was something else before it was Exxon, if I remember correctly. Um, but we had all these different gasolines. We don't have them anymore, you know? Not like we used to. Yeah. You know, so. What have you. Anyway. It's true. Well, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> uh, so so it, it's really, you know, I mean, uh, I, I, but here's the thing. The prices are going to go up on gas. It's going to cost you money. Do you mind paying for it, knowing that what we're doing is sanctioning the Russians for what they're doing in Ukraine? Oh, I don't mind. Now, it, when I asked what? Bubs this, he said no. Well, you know, <laughs> you know how it's affecting uh, uh, the average guy that has to go to work and lives on a tight budget. You know, most people in this country are just one paycheck away That's from right. homelessness. And and uh, they could they, if they had a, a repair for four hundred dollars they couldn't afford it. Well, wait they a minute. Uh, how about me? I have to pay out seventy five thousand dollars tomorrow. Well, well that means you got your lease. Uh, yeah, yeah. You better yeah. live long enough to enjoy it. Does that include <laughs> five years of rent free time? It wasn't rent free. It wasn't paid rent free. We paid. We paid one hundred and ten. We paid one hundred and ten thousand in lawyers' fees, yeah. and then seventy five thousand to buy this guy off. Uh, so basically, we paid about we paid it about we figured it's something like eighteen hundred dollars a month rent over over the yeah wow. so, so you know that, that that's what it comes to and now we're paying uh, under our new lease of course I don't know how we're going to make this uh, five hundred dollars a month wow. they actually gave you the lease for that we just the the according to our law, lawyer he's got it you know. So, signed, signed supposedly. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That's, that's for now because it's going into appeal, and if it goes into appeal and then they win, we have to pay the difference between the price that the that they settle at. You know. Yeah. You know, at which and, point we'll have to haul over, you know, probably fifty grand worth of money to pay for the difference. You you'll know? end up moving. No, <laughs> no. What happens is Marjorie has this apartment, this apartment she owns. And mm -hmm. if worse comes to worse, we sell that, and we have enough money to live on that for the rest of our lives. You know, yeah. So. 
And I still got a lot of money, too, so, you know. But I just, you know, I just, ah, uh, it's just got me all, it's got me depressed, okay? So. Yeah, well, you you fought long and hard for it, and, you know, it's just... Yeah, it, but, I mean, it was, wasn't, I don't know if it was worth the fight, you know? Well, if we had just oh. gotten out of here, gotten into another apartment, uh, we would have been fine. But then again, we would have paid a lot more. Yeah. And here, at the worst, if we pay top price in this deal, it'll come to twenty two twenty five a month for this apartment. That's yeah, not I, a lot of money. I thought other apartments in your building were like seven, eight, Some, ten grand. Some, there are a couple of their seven thousand, eight thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they're not as big as this one. Mm. Yeah. So. Well, you know what they're doing to a lot of those New York apartments to get away from the rent control and the, and you don't have rent control. You have uh, what's it called? Stabilization. Stabilization. Mm -hmm. uh, they take that big apartment and they chop it into two apartments, and then they can get uh, current uh, current rents. So, yeah, I mean, they, they they have ways of doing stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the the landlords here tried that, and that's why they got thumped really hard with a five hundred dollar a month rent in the end yeah. because they had just they had tried some things to try and jack the price up. You know. Mm. So Yeah, well uh did you know what they you've got twenty five hundred square feet, so you make two twelve hundred and fifty square foot apartments. Uh maybe your Well they would they would do they did that to a couple of them and they decided not to do that because they figured maybe the apartments were worth a lot more as larger apartments. But we have a foyer. And yes. what they would do is they would turn the foyer into two entrances. The entrance. Two entrances to right. two de separate apartments, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then they'd have well, to... Well, I just, what I read that uh, a, a rentals in New York now are averaging something like three thirty five hundred four thousand dollars $4,000 a month. That's for a one-bedroom, right? It, that's for, uh, yeah, for I think a one-bedroom. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. not uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, not, uh, not cheap. You know, it's like around here too. Huh? Around here is really expensive too. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's jumped up here. So my so uncle those... had a place on uh, is it Mulberry uh, down in the uh, down in the um, oh, Washington. Washington uh, what, what do they call that area? The Bowery. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he had it ever since he was in college, mm -hmm. and he was paying six hundred dollars a month. And he had to walk six flights up to his apartment, no elevator. Oh, boy. And he yeah. finally gave it up and moved well, to Oneonta. Well, you see, I mean, there are a lot of, there's still apartments in this building that are rent controlled. There's a difference between rent control and rent stabilized. Mm -hmm. And the rent controlled apartments, um, some of them, some of the people there are still paying like only $900 a month rent. Yeah. And with a, with a rent, a uh, 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 rent controlled apartment you can literally will the apartment to a relative yeah so now, if you the, die uh, it, it still goes to somebody else in the family right it, yeah. that, on that tv show friends didn't the apartment in the tv show get uh it was the girl's grandmother do you know uh, something i've never seen a whole episode of friends really so I have no idea what you're talking mm. about. Oh, well, she had a pretty cool apartment and uh, mm. it wasn't as nice as yours. Jack Bishop is showing up here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Uh, Where? I, I don't know. Well, I, he heard rent control oh, I, and he, you know. He, yeah, he says joining. I don't know where he is, but, you know. Um, so those, anyway. apartments you those apartments you referenced, Alex, those... Mm. Uh, for three thousand, whatever does that include indoor laundry? An indoor, you mean laundry? Yeah, you, oh, there's you, no, there's no, a, la there's, no there's no laundry in this. <laughs> you put a laundry, you put a line out your window. And, and, listen, and, and listen. You use the, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't want to get into how this apartment house is run, but <laughs> we don't have, we don't have any laundry room. Oh, you don't? No. Wow, for that amount of money, and you don't get laundry. No, but wow. we do, we do have our own laundry. Yeah, we have washer and dryer. Hey there, hi there, yeah, Hello there. yeah, I, yeah. Heard you guys talking about gas so prices. Those apartments, those apartments you referenced, Alex. Those what? Uh, oh, you back, you back. got your. Uh, uh, oh yeah, audio sure. Yeah, yeah. Indoor, I mean, let me get out of well, that. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no lawn. 
There we go. What were you saying, Matt? Quickly? No, that was just my voice echoing back. That wasn't me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Jack. I just I just woke up. Where am I? Uh, heard you guys talking about gas prices. Yeah. You know, we still pay less than most of the west of the, the rest of the Western world for gasoline. Yeah. In Texas. Yeah. No, no as a country, US. US. Oh, in the U.S., yeah. I mean, uh, you go to Europe and you just gasp at how much the price is for gas. By the liter. But well, also, but also, big... the cars over there get better mileage. They're diesel. Yes. Well, well, they're not no, diesel. they're not diesel. They're not they're diesel. Not, no, no, but, they're they, but they are. No. They are created to get better gas. Yeah, they, they, they are smaller, more, more the efficient. Chevy and all those cars. Cars. Oh, I have, have a friend of mine, uh, friend of mine uh, lives in Sydney, Australia, and they're paying by the liter, but they, but it's about ten dollars a gallon. That's what it is in Canada too. <clears throat> Mike Chisholm was saying that on on uh, mm. Monday. Yeah. So you know we've just been lucky because you know we've had tremendous, tremendous oil reserves and tremendous oil production for all of our lives and we've been uh, to, to use an expression I like foolish in this country for all of our lives everybody on this panel has had that advantage yeah if you have a now car I'm the only one here and Tony doesn't have a car either yeah He's got a coffee maker, though. Yeah. Well, we're New Yorkers. We no, don't need Jack, cars. If we need Jack, one, we rob them. <laughs> exactly. Jack, how how cheap do you remember gas when you were a kid? What was the cheapest you remember? Well, I wasn't a kid. I was in my 20s, and I moved to Houston, and gas was at 17 cents a gallon. When I left San Francisco, gas was at about 30 to 35 cents a gallon. I remember when it got to 50 cents and I said, I'm not paying 50 cents a gallon. Oh, I, I, it, it got <laughs> you know, there, there are young people my, watch. If there are young people watching this show, they're sitting there going, listen to these old farts talking <laughs> about 19 cents a gallon. I mean, but hey, you know, every old fart talks about things back when he was in the day. Yeah, but when I'm I say, sure. when I say 19 cents a gallon, when I saw the 19 cents a gallon and then later on during the the uh, uh, gas wars, uh, the 9 cents a gallon, I was 10 years old. That was 72 years ago, yeah. okay? Right, right. And, and what were salaries 72 years ago? When a guy made six, seven grand a year, he was living large. No, if a guy made two, three thousand dollars yeah. a year back then, he was living large. Yeah, if you want to talk about prices going up, check out what's going on at the grocery store. Do you know that the at, at not last year, but I think it was two years ago, the price of milk per gallon was higher than the price of gasoline. We used to go to a milk machine when I was a kid, and it was a quarter for a quarter milk. It, it was a machine. Yeah, but that was that New York machine. milk. Huh? That was that New York milk. It was, it was pumped out of the river. Yeah, there was a, a gas station at the end of the end of the road, about three miles from our house. Yeah, and, and Hershey bars were a nickel. Coke yeah. was a nickel. A phone and they were call. Big. A phone call was a nickel, was, but you didn't have. You didn't and for have a penny, for a penny, cell phone. For a oh, for yeah, three cents, you used for, for three penny. cents, you used to get the newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, for one penny. I used to get a, a whole stamp. strip, a whole strip, of candy dots on a yeah. on a page. Yeah. You remember those? And then oh, you would I peel them off, and you those. would eat them, and then you would get a nice big piece of paper mache in your stomach. Hey, Charlie, that's uh, diabetes on a strip. Yeah, that's probably where it came from. Yeah. yeah. Back in the box, uh, I had two tacos for ninety nine cents since I've been a kid, and it's still that price. So that's the best bargain. Matt got his hand up. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 Matt. We, Matt. We Hold on a second, Matt. Just one thing. I was going to say, average income in 1945 was $1,223. Wow. $1,223. Yeah. So it's all relative. What, a month? Yeah. No, a year. No, a year. A year. A year. <laughs> 1200 
Yeah, yeah, that would be a year, a hundred and something bucks yeah. a year. But you remember, an apartment was seven fifty a month. Yeah, you know? a ritzy apartment was twenty. Bucks well, my a month. father, as long as I was growing up, I remember him making about five thousand dollars a year. You oh, know. he's rich. Yeah, he was rich. Yeah. Housing <laughs> prices are expensive too in this country. We used to pay. We used to pay for our apartment on Telegraph Hill. Mm hmm. Ready for this? Uh. Thirty-five dollars a month. It's too bad oh. you didn't keep it. The house that I grew up in. That my oh, here we go. This is uh, we haven't got a young person left listening to this program. <laughs> Listen, no young people. Did it have windows and doors? <laughs> no young people listen to Gabby. Well, you had to step outside the cave to smoke. <laughs> and cigarettes were fifty cents a pack. Uh, oh, man. And you and you put the pterodactyl's needle on your stone record to hear the Rolling Stones because they were still they were around in, in at they were time. actually actual Rolling Stones. Yes, yes. <laughs> but the house that I grew up in, my folks bought for twelve thousand dollars, and the uh, ours in Marin was County nine, was nine thousand five hundred. Yeah. So and your dad thought he overpaid. <laughs> I, I I remember taking the house note to uh, some savings and loan when I was in high school, and the house note was eighty five dollars a month. I can't buy toilet paper for eighty five. Yeah. Well, our house, which was which was ninety five hundred dollars, I think, a few years later after my mother sold it and then somebody else sold it, it was sold for four hundred thousand dollars. I'll okay. look on Zillow. What was what was the address? <laughs> 179 Scenic Avenue. Well, let me get to Zillow. Zillow Real Estate. 179 Scenic Zillow. Avenue. So well, I wish I, I got to go. I wish I could stick around and hear this. I'd love to hear what the house I <clears throat> think of as home is worth. Stan and Selmo. Mm -hmm. All right. See you later, Jack. Yeah. So, so, uh, so I, I, I bought wait. my house. I was. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. What? You found it? Yeah. What? Uh, three bedroom, two baths, 1,900 square feet, 1,584,000. Oh, wow. You keep right here. 1,584,000. But it was in San Anselmo. If he was in Ross, it would be 10 million. It would be you know? one million, a million and a half dollars? <laughs> yeah. Almost well, and, we, and, we, and we paid 95 hundred dollars for that house right. it says that the rent <laughs> estimate is six grand a month wow wow i'm looking at the pictures alex it's a very nice house it's, it's, <laughs> it has sta it stairs stairs going up the Bill it's hasn't beautiful got his computer to load pictures yet <laughs> so, <clears throat> living room what is the living so, room so when i was when i was 19 hey, I put the living room room. picture up to the uh, up to the screen okay. here let me see uh, it let All me right, see let me it see here. If I can make it let me bigger. see if it, if it looks the same as it looked when I was a kid. Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're running ahead, out Alan. of time here. Let uh, me see uh, here. Go ahead, Alan. Yeah, well, Phil cuts me off. Yep, that's time. it. That's yeah, it. That, we, that big, that big, ba that big bay window. We put that in. Yeah. Are you ready for that? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I, I bought when I was nineteen. <laughs> I bought my house for seventy thousand. I just got the appraisal on it the other day because I'm refinancing it. 1.8 million. And this is, uh, I, I, it, you know, when I was a kid, 1.8 million was an upscale neighborhood. It's it's yeah. got, it's in Fremont, so you don't have indoor plumbing, do you? No, no. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. Hey, 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 we got we got the we got, okay. we got the theme playing, and I'm. Tired. Really? I want to go to sleep. Hey, you see my house? It's right behind me. Yeah, that's one million dollars right there for one of those. Well, let's hear it for Phil tonight for sticking oh. around. Hey, Phil. and Tony, if you come out here, that's uh, that you can pick wherever you want to stay in that. Uh, in yeah, that the orange one. You can pick the red the blue one. one. It's we nice. Charlie Wallace, thank you for joining us this evening. And Brian, always wonderful to have you here. I'm all from Phil, drinking all night. Yeah, right. And, uh, <laughs> but and, don't and drive. of course, uh, Alan, thank you. Thanks to Tony. 
Always nice having you drop by, as uh, do we like having Matt? Yes, we do like having Matt join us. Thank you. And, of course, Jeff, who is down in uh, Georgia. Uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you as well. Let me put myself in the picture waving. And there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Let me just... Uh, uh, boy, my nose is itching tonight. This is... I'm falling. I'm falling apart. Anyway, that's it. Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. He will follow us immediately right after uh, we sign off here. We'll be back again tomorrow night, 1030 Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, please get vaccinated, okay? Wear a mask. Do all the right things. Good night, everybody.